Welcome guys, welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to deal with arrays, how to put data into arrays and how to um, we do the data insertion when we deal with a lot of data coming from the database. So here in my code editor I have this uh, uh, usage of array simply uh, nothing here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to define an empty array first of all. So I say users and equal to array. So this is how you define an empty array. So this is now array. Now you can also define an array like this. So you can say array. That's all. So this is the, uh, you just created an array simply. Now if I want to put data inside array, for example, I come in this one first and I want to get this variable and I'm going to say dollar users is equal to I'm going to put underscore R and I'm going to put dollar users here I save this go to the browser and here I refresh we get the name it's printing straight away now what if I want to put more names so for example if I want to put uh, Max here right so we have Roger Max what do you think gonna happen let's have a look so we go here we refresh it over it writes it it says it's max now when we are going to put the data currently it is putting as a variable and overriding it so for uh, PHP works top to bottom so first it uh, puts the Roger inside it and then the max and we see max there if you want both the values what we need to do we need to put it like this this is the syntax for it so when you put a lot of data into your array you put it like this so you define this and you're putting the name here Roger here max and then we are printing it let's have a look what happens so I refresh we get Roger on zero and max on one so we just inserted two now this is an amazing feature array so we can use a lot of data and can insert a lot of data in here now uh, we can also use a PHP function as well. So, uh, let me show you an example for that. So, uh, and I want to also show you that uh, this way also works. So, if you define array that way, and I uncomment this one, we go here, refresh the page, you see nothing changes. So, we define the array just fine. You, any of these methods is totally fine. So what I do now, I use array underscore push, which is a PHP function, which allow us to put values into array. So it's going to push the values. So I had all our users. And how you pass the array as a first argument, and then you pass the uh, array of uh, or data, whatever data you want to pass. So I say here, max. And then I see here Steve. Let's see what happens. So we get a browser, refresh, we get Max and Steve both inserted. So this is the other way how you can push the values inside. So uh, we can even push more values here if you want to, uh, like this. So if I go here, refresh, we have three names. Now you can pass the uh, array as well. So currently I'm passing three values. You might want to say, I just say that uh, this is an array of uh, names of players. So we can pass this into this function. And we're going to get the, the so sorry about the spellings again. And now we're going to put it here. So we should get the same output. And if I refresh here, we get the, uh, array zero and the values inserted now if I go here it's uh, inserting array inside array so it it gone one label deep that's why we have uh, one array on zero and then the values now we can put values using loops and uh, so uh, in our application if you notice here uh, what we were doing we were when user logs in we asked for the email and the password 
and when the user puts the details we go into the database and match the email so we get only one record now what if I want to put all this list from database to my array so we can do that we can put into the array so uh, it's going to be simple not that tough uh, you just need to give a bit of understanding here so what I do I have is users here and what I'm going to do we have the code for this login process here where we are getting the data and we are putting the username so here uh, what I can do I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this here we have our I'm going to leave this code into the description the only the code we are using in this video so that you can use it so I'm going to put this SQL statement here all right so just users I'm going to cut it from there and put here just next to it now I am saying select all from users where email is equal to this so I just gonna remove this portion because I want to select everything so what I'm gonna do I want to get all these records I want to put into an array and then print it so that's what we are going to do so here I go to the code now if I go here what we are doing when we have we are doing the query my skill query so the same thing we need to do here so my SQLI underscore query the first parameter is connection and the second is dollar SQL and we need to check uh, we create a variable and do I'm going to put a condition here I'm going to say if data received do this so we're going to get the data and uh, to run this SQL query we are using this uh, dollar connection and I am including the DB file on the top so if you've been following along the series you know how to use the uh, connection so if you're not so you can see that that we have config and DB and there I am uh, getting the connection for the database we're using here so this is the variable we are calling and we included this file on the top here so we have this query here where I have this if condition what I can do I'm gonna cut this I'm going to say my SQLI underscore num underscore rows and I'm going to pass this data received and we need to check if it is more than zero then we want to loop through it so the while loop and I'm gonna say dollar row is equal to my SQLI underscore fetch underscore array and here we are going to pass this variable again so this is going to uh, get the data so now here inside the loop uh, because we are passing it we can use our data now we're using a row so what I do here is I'm going to say uh, print underscore r and I'm going to put out a row simply to see what data we are getting so I'm going to put exit here so that this print doesn't work and that it's only print this all right so let's see so I go to page <laughs> refresh we get call to undefined uh, practice sorry about that it's fetch my spellings are I'm not doing great today so I'm gonna refresh now now you can see that we have data here now it's not displaying so properly but if you notice here uh, we have user underscore name and the username is coming and then the email here email and the email so what I can do I can try to get the name so what I do I put here user underscore name I save this and go back there and refresh and we get the usernames if you notice it's coming in line so what I do here is uh, I'm just going to put dot and break all right refresh we have users all the users and the same users we're getting from here now what I want to do I want to put all these users in an array so usually when we work on the e-commerce websites or 
websites where we have deal with data um, we do this so what we can do uh, we have the user and we know that so what do we do here we say dollar users and we are going to pause this now if it is too much for you and if you're feeling like it's too hard it's getting hard don't worry about that because after uh, we are going to work on these things when we will be working on more uh, project so you get the understanding how things work because uh, it's going to be clear with the practice so you should try it yourself so here we are doing it we have the empty array we defined here then we're getting the data now getting the data we printed the data now i'm just putting that data into the users array now we are going to see the users so loop is going to run and all the names going to go inside this variable and once the loop because the loop is ending here after that when you print you get all the names whatever names you have in this variable so let's see there so i go here and refresh we have all the names now generally when you be getting data like this you'll be putting it to a variable and then you'll be looping through again so either you can do here in some situation you'll be using javascript or jquery to loop through but we will see those kind of scenarios too so for now you got the understanding that we can put multiple data into array and this is the way how we deals with array so if you got the understanding with this i'm going to leave this particular file where we used all these variables and this query so you get the understanding uh, in the description you can download it and thank you for watching see you in the next video bye and